What if I told you you can use every AI model out there, whether it's to generate images, generate text, generate videos, for completely free and without any limits. I'm talking about the best AI models today. I'm literally talking Gemini 2.5 Pro, ChatGPT 5, Grok 4, VO3, Nano Banana, all the best models out there for completely free and with zero limitations. You're probably thinking I'm lying or it's something illegal, but I'm telling you the truth and it's 100% legal. There is a secret website that literally gives you unlimited access to all of the best models for free and you don't even need a login. It sounds crazy, but it's true. Let me show you. There's a website called Ella Marina that's been originally built to rank AI models based off user preferences. So the idea is every time you write a prompt, Ella Marina will give you two answers from two different AI models. And what you're meant to do is rank which AI model you like more. So for example, in this instance, I might say I like the right answer better than I like the left answer. And then as you can see, it shows me exactly which AI model I chose as the better AI model. And by doing that with a ton of users every single day, they're able to rank AI models based off user preferences to create some sort of a benchmark and a leaderboard that's more widely accepted than a set of math questions. So as you can see in this instance, it says in a text category, Gemini 2.5 Pro is first, in models for web development, ChatGPT 5 High is first. When it comes to vision, you got Gemini 2.5 Pro again, text to image, you got C Dream, or however you say that, and so on and so forth. Now at this point, you might be thinking that getting two random answers every single time from two random models is pretty annoying and you probably don't wanna do that every single time. Even if it's free, it's probably not worth it. But don't worry because Ella Marina also allows for you to direct chat with the model that you want. So for example, if you wanna to talk to GBT5, all you have to do is go to direct chat and then you can just talk to it normally like how you would talk to it inside ChatGPT. So I can then again write something like write a poem about trees and it'll give me an answer exactly how it would give me an answer if I was using the ChatGPT platform itself. And as I said, you can literally change this to all of the best models at any point in time. So if you wanna test out Clode Opus 4, you just switch it over and then you write in your prompt. And just like that, you'd get a response from Clode Opus 4 within the same chat interface. Now, as I said, Ella Marina doesn't just stop at text models. It also allows for you to generate images and videos. Let me show you. If you wanna generate images on Ella Marina, all you have to do is go back to direct chat and click on generate images. And just like that, you can scroll through a list of the best image generation models that are currently out there today. For example, the one that everyone knows and loves and that's been going super viral recently is Nano Banana and Ella Marina literally gives you free access to Nano Banana. So if I wanted to use Nano Banana, all I'd have to do is upload an image and write a prompt saying something like, put this man in a suit shaking hands with Elon Musk with security guards behind them. I'll send that through. And then as you can see, it created an image of what looks like a hybrid between that man and Elon Musk shaking hands with Elon Musk. It looks super weird, but you get the point. You literally get free access to Nano Banana. So let's say in this instance, you weren't happy with the image it generated. You literally talk to it similar to how you would talk to Nano Banana in Google AI studio so you'd say something like change the private jet to an elephant you'd send it through and then as you can now see we have an elephant in the background of what looks like elon musk shaking hands with elon musk now just before i show you how you can use ella marina to generate videos with the best video generation models today i do have to tell you that using ella marina does come with its downsides as well as I said, Ella Marina has been built as a sort of research platform to rank AI models. This also means that Ella Marina may keep a copy of the prompts that you put inside the chat interface and share them publicly to support AI research. So although it's free and it's awesome, I probably wouldn't recommend using Ella Marina if you're doing any sensitive tasks that involves private or confidential data, because there is a chance that that data will get leaked. So I'd probably recommend using Ella Marina more for everyday tasks and playing around. Use it as a sort of playground to get access to all the best AI models for completely free. But don't use it for your business or really private tasks. Now, one more thing I have to quickly mention about Ella Marina is that if you actually log in and create your account, you will eventually hit a limit and Ella Marina will tell you to come back after X amount of hours to ensure that you don't just blast all the models. But in the start of the video, I did promise you that you can get Ella Marina with unlimited access for free. And so in a scenario where you do hit your daily limit, all you'd have to do 
is open up an incognito window and then go back to Ella Marina and you literally get more access. As I said, Ella Marina doesn't necessarily need for you to log in to use it. So you can literally continuously open more and more incognito windows and use it as many times as you want. So if you do hit your limit inside this incognito window, all you have to do is literally open up another one and you start your limit from scratch. The only downside to using Ella Marina inside an incognito window as opposed to actually logging in is that if you don't log into Ella Marina, it won't remember the chat history. So in this instance, if I was inside the incognito window and I told Ella Marina to change the private jet to an elephant without actually sending this image back in through with that prompt, it will literally forget about this previous conversation and it will generate something completely random. So if you do end up using Ella Marina in incognito, just make sure that every time you put a new prompt, you copy the image and you put it into that new prompt again. So as you can see this time, Nano Banana actually did a much better job and this person actually looks like himself. And so if I wanted to, for example, change this prompt, all I'd have to do is make sure I have that image copied and pasted into the prompt. And then I'll just write instructions like make the security guard in the background a bodybuilder doing a front double bicep pose. And as you can see this time, it looks like there's a guy that's coming out of this guy that's doing a bodybuilder pose. So yeah, just a quick tip if you guys are new to Nano Banana, Nano Banana isn't actually meant to be used as an image generation model. You're meant to use use Nano Banana to edit images similar to how image editing apps like Photoshop work. So you give it an image and you say, change the background or remove this or add this, editing things one step at a time, as opposed to just giving it a photo and saying, generate an entirely new scene and scenario. Okay, now as promised, let me show you exactly how you can generate videos with Ella Marina for completely free. All you have to do is go over to try on Discord on the left-hand panel. And if you click on it, it should take you to the LM Arena Discord server. So basically how the Discord server works is you go over to one of these video arenas and you write a prompt saying exactly what video you want to generate. But the catch is when it comes to video generation, literally everyone can see the video that's being generated and the prompt that you're sending through. So if you're sending some sort of funny photo of yourself, you want to generate some sort of funny video of yourself or someone that you know, I probably wouldn't use Ella Marina for that because everyone will literally have access to it on the server. So as you can see, literally every couple of seconds, people are putting prompts in requesting for Ella Marina to generate a video for them. And what Ella Marina is doing is it's generating two versions of the video that was requested from the prompt. And then just like before, what you have to do is you have to choose the version that you like most. So for example, in this instance, these are the two videos that it generated. So in this instance, if we take a look, this is one of the videos that was generated and this is the other one. And then let's say, for example, in this instance, we like the left one better. What it will do is it will take that vote and it will obviously account for that inside the leaderboard that we showed before. Now, one thing that's a little bit annoying with video generation inside Ella Marina is that as you can see, you can't necessarily choose the model that you want to use. So you can't say build this with VO3 or build this with runway or whatever other model that you want to choose. Ella Marina will randomly choose two models, give you two versions of the video that you requested, and then it'll wait to get two votes on which version people liked most. Once it gets those two votes, it will then show you exactly which model generated which video. So again, if you're a heavy user of video generation models and you're actually using it for work or something, I'd probably recommend not using Ella Marina because you won't get that granular access to always use the best model that you want every single time. Considering it's taking so many requests from so many people, it takes a little bit longer to get your videos generated and literally everyone gets to see exactly what you requested and what came out from it. So although it's super cool as a playground, it probably isn't the best way to use these models if you're actually using it for work purposes. That said, let me quickly show you an example of how you can generate videos yourself inside Ella Marina's Discord server. All you have to do is go to one of these arenas and then you write forward slash and you choose exactly what you want to create. So in this instance, let's say we want to turn an image to a video. You click on image to video, you'd upload an image. In this case, I just uploaded the image of Elon Musk and Elon Musk 2.0 shaking hands. And then you write the prompt of what you want to happen once that image gets converted to a video. I'll just say something like create a video of the men shaking hands. You'd send that through. And then just like that, my request goes inside the queue. And then about four minutes later, Ella Marina gave us the two generated videos. Now let's take a look at them. The left one is super weird. <laughs> because they completely change characters when they turned around. But this one, there's a bit of character consistency that kind of looks like Elon Musk and that one, I guess, looks like the other guy. So this right one was much better. 
We'll vote for it. And then once two people actually give a vote, it shows you exactly what the models were. So as you can see, the left one was Wan, whatever that is, and the right one was Hailu, whatever that is. So in this instance, Hailu definitely did the better job. And I'm definitely saying that wrong. So let me know in the comments how that's actually pronounced. And there you go. That was Ella Marina, a website that gives you access to all the best AI models for completely free and without any limits. But as you saw, it's probably not something you want to use for real work purposes. You probably just want to use it as a playground, more for everyday tasks and their ability to to test out different models and see how they perform compared to one another. Now, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did find this video valuable, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.